This is an art attack? This is an art attack? This is art attack! <laughs> up with people snooping around your wardrobe you know tidying it up borrowing your clothes then scare them off with one of these a horror hanger Ooh. come and have a look at this take a big cardboard box and cut off the two biggest sides and onto one of the sides draw a horror head now you have to make it roughly the same size as your own head but hopefully it won't look anything like your own head. In fact, you could copy your favourite comic strip character or horror character off the telly. But you have to make a nice big long neck that's almost the same size as the head. And then put in the rest of the horrible detail on your face, cut it out, and you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that. Ugly mug. Put that to one side, and then on the other sheet, draw around your fingers like that but don't spread your fingers too far apart just enough to get the pen in between them and go all the way down your arm both sides like that and join them up there like that do two of them cut them out and you'll have something that looks like that now the idea is to pop a hole through the end of both arms do this with a sharp pencil be very careful in through the cardboard and into a bit of sticky tack to protect the furniture and then just place your cardboard hand down like that. Tear out some old magazine pictures. Just pages from the old magazine. Just twist them into a long, thin twist like that. And just place them down onto your hand, along the finger, and then along the arm like that. Do all five fingers in the same way, again, with old pieces of magazine. And you have something that looks like that. And it's a gnarled old hand. Then mix some PVA glue with some water, two parts glue, one part water, and yes, you've seen me do this before, slop on the glue over your gnarled, twisted fingers, and then place the tissue paper or loo roll on the top, and just slop on another bit of PVA glue. And go over the whole of your hand, covering all the fingers, front and back, both hands, and when you've finished, leave it to dry, and you'll have something that looks like that. And look at this. The PVA glue and tissue paper have gone rock solid. And whatever you do, don't cover those two holes. Now, as for the face, what you need to do is build up these facial features into a sort of 3D relief. And the best way of doing this is just tear off clumps of tissue paper or loo roll. And with your fingers, can be a bit messy, but fun to do. Just dip it into your glue like that, shake off the excess and just position it onto your cardboard and press it into shape. And as you're pressing it, the tissue paper sort of disintegrates into a pulp and you can just get it into position. It doesn't matter if you go over your design, because the idea is to build up all these facial features with tissue paper. Then cover the whole thing in one layer of tissue paper, front and back, and when you've finished, you'll have something that looks like that. And as you can see, I've built up all the facial features into a 3D relief, and I've even put a 3D bolt through his neck. And just bring the hands back in, like that, and now it's time to paint them. And you can do this with poster paint or acrylic paint, it's always the good fun bit, this, isn't it? Now make it as horrible as you possibly can, and you can see here I'm just slopping on some gruesome green. And you can take a bit of time doing it, just go over all the fingers, both hands, even do the fingernails and do the same on your face make your face as horrible as you possibly can put in all the detail and when it's finished your face will look something like that look at that and i've done red lips there i've even put the scar in Ooh, i've got the eyes and i've even put some silver pen on here for the bolts as for the hands well i've put the fingernails in and just through these holes here i've attached two lengths of string I've tied them 
to a coat hanger so that they dangle like that. Then the difficult bit. Take a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or an old pullover and the idea is to just thread your horror hands down the sleeves and pop them out the other end. And there's one of them, like that, a perfect fit. And then the other one, down the other sleeve, like this. It can be a little tricky to do. It's a bit like getting dressed in the dark, using someone else's hands. Horror hands at that. And out come the fingers. There they are. And again, another perfect fit. And then you have to attach your coat hanger into your shirt like that. Just hang it on like you normally would. And then just put your head inside and simply tape it into position. Now, I'm just going to do it very quickly here to show you. You can take a little bit more time to do it. Do it carefully. Put a lot of tape on so that when you pick it up, there you have <laughs> a horror hanger. <laughs> and then you can hang it up in your wardrobe. This way, master. And if you tie a loop of string or wool to the bar in your wardrobe first, it just makes it easier to hang in. And there it is. Look at that. And there's loads of different designs you can do. You could do a skeleton design, or you can even do a werewolf design, complete with woolly fur. Try it yourself. A horror hanger, guaranteed to scare off unwanted intruders. <laughs> Yes, it's me, the head. Now, that's basically five stages. One, cut out your cardboard shapes. Two, build up the features using magazines, cotton wool or paper. Three, cover them in toilet roll and PVA glue. Four, paint them uh, when they're dry. Five, tie them onto your coat hanger. Uh, oh, yes, and six, scare someone <laughs>